Hi, I'm Dr. Dave, and welcome to the Bank Bend Challenge. If you are the first person that can bend a bank short around a one inch obstacle, less than half a ball, and do so in compliance with the challenge rules, Bob Jewett and I will pay you $2,000. And if nobody can bend the full one inch amount, we will still pay $200 to the person that can bend it the most. Good luck. Here's an example of a bank bending short. If you want to participate in the challenge, you should first try a variety of cross-side banks, having a friend look down the line to the pocket to see if the ball is bending or not. Try to figure out which combination of angle, speed, spin, and distances results in the most bend for you and your table. Once you are happy with the shot, mark your object ball position to make it easy to respot with multiple attempts. Use a self-adhesive hole reinforcement label, or a little white donut, for this purpose. When marking a ball position, be sure to hold the ball in place carefully and tap down firmly with another ball to make a small indentation and mark on the cloth. When you place the donut, be very careful to make sure the mark on the cloth is centered in the hole of the donut. This is very important. Now fine tune where you want the cue ball to be and mark its position. Then try the shot a few more times to make sure it is the one you want to get the most bend. Have a friend pay attention to and mark, maybe with a cubic chalk, where the banked ball is coming off the cushion. Also have your friend observe and mark where the ball enters the pocket on your best bend shot. This will be important when setting up the ball layout for the official challenge. Now that you know your shot, place the 10 ball frozen to the cushion in line with the shot. And place the 11 so the 10 narrowly misses the 11 as it leaves the cushion. You will need to leave a gap so the 10 will have room to compress the cushion and slide down the rail slightly during rebound. The gap size will need to vary some depending on your shot speed and table conditions. Now mark the 11 ball position. Here I have replaced the 11 ball with the 10. Now test your shot to make sure it clears the ball. If it doesn't, fine tune the placement of the 10 ball. This is important. Now place the 11 ball off the cushion some close to the target pocket so your best bend shot barely clears the ball. Placement of this ball is also important to give you the best bend result possible. Again, mark the position. Now place the 12 frozen to the 10 at an angle so the tangent or kiss line would send the 10 toward the pocket to graze the 11. Mark this position too. Now do the same thing on the other side of the table with the 13 frozen to the 11. Notice how I slightly tilt one ball into the other before tapping down to help make sure the balls freeze together. The 12 and 13 define the line of a straight bank to the pocket, barely missing the 10 and 11. Now place the 14 and 15 at the point on the table where you think the bend will be at its widest swing out point. Make sure the 14 is in line with the 12 and 13, and the 15 is in line with the 10 and 11. If you close one eye and look with the other eye over the tops of the balls, it is easy to see if they are in line or not. Mark these balls also and double check that all of the balls are aligned properly. This is important. When you are done, the table should look like this, although the cue ball and nine ball might be in different places, and the line to the pocket might also be different. The only thing else you need to prepare for the challenge is a toilet paper roll tube and a ruler. Remove the 12, 13, and 15 balls and place the tube up against the 14. When you remove the 14, you open up a straight path for a non-bending bank to head to the pocket if it barely grazes the 10, barely grazes the tube, and barely grazes the 11. The only realistic way to pocket the 9 without touching anything is to bend the bank slightly around the tube. The purpose for using the tube instead of a ball is because an obstacle ball would be easy to hop over. The bank must go around the obstacle, not jump over it. Here, I'm starting with the tube in a position to allow a straight bank to easily clear. Now you are ready to attempt to beat the challenge. Position your camera with a view similar to what we have here, looking down the line of the incoming ball with the entire shot in view. Keep on shooting the shot, placing the tube closer and closer to the donut. Obviously, the closer the tube gets to the donut, the more you will need to bend the bank to avoid hitting the 10 ball, the tube, and the 11 ball. The goal is to get the largest bend possible. And to beat the challenge, the tube would need to be here after a successful shot with the edge one eighth of an inch away from the center of the donut. Since the radius of a pool ball is one and an eighth inch, this corresponds to bending around a one inch obstacle, which is the goal of the challenge. After you pocket the ball with the most bend possible, 
Keep the camera running during the entire remainder of your video. You are not allowed to edit the video beyond this point. After a successful shot, place the 15 ball back on its spot. Then convince us that the 10, 11, and 15 are in a straight line by showing us a camera view looking over the tops of the balls like this. Again, keep the camera running and keep the tube and 15 ball in view the entire time so we know they are not tampered with. You are not allowed to have breaks in your video like we have in this edited video. Now get a close-up view of the tube and 15 ball. Then remove the 15 and carefully place the ruler so it barely touches the tube, in line with and just below the donut centers. Now move your camera to get a close-up view of the required measurement between the edge of the tube and the center of the first donut. Here, the measurement is exactly one-eighth of an inch. Also get a close-up of the other donut so we can verify that the centers of the donuts are two and a quarter inch apart as they should be. As illustrated here, the amount of bend is one and an eighth inch, the radius of a ball, minus your measurement from the tube to the first donut. For this tube position, after a successful shot, the bend would be one inch, since the measurement is one eighth of an inch. Again, the goal of the challenge is to exceed or get as close as you can to this bend amount. The best bend in all posted videos wins, even if it is less than one inch. If you have a second video camera available, for example a smartphone, and video editing software, set up the second camera on the other side of the table, also looking down the shot line. Record with both cameras simultaneously and show us your best shot from both camera angles at the end of your submitted video so we can clearly see the bend. Again, this isn't required, but it will be interesting for people to see your bend from both directions. Your submitted video only needs to include your best successful shot along with the verification and measurement steps described and demonstrated earlier. Here's an example shot on my table without the tube in place. Here's the main camera view again in slow motion. And here's the slow motion footage simultaneously filmed with my iPhone from the other side. There is no question that a bank shot can be bent short. However, the important questions are how much can you bend it and how accurately and consistently can you execute the shot. I didn't get much bend here, but I'm sure you guys can do better with a better shot and a different hit and on a different table with more suitable conditions. Based on how your shots look on video, you might want to tweak the shot and ball layout some to get an even better challenge result. For example, if I like this shot, I should move the 10 ball closer to where the banked ball leaves the cushion before laying out the balls for the official attempt. Please refer to the Bank Bend Challenge website for more information and for detailed rules. As people attempt the challenge and post the videos, we will update the standings and provide video links for all to see and to encourage competition. Good luck with the challenge. Bob and I look forward to paying off whoever can bend the ball the most.